1.8 million dollars in waffles. What do these two things have in common? We'll find out today on The Fashion Fix, your go-to for all things fashion, inspiration, and information only at Harriman and Company. So 1.8 million dollars, that is the highest price ever paid for a pair of sneakers from the Kanye West Nike Air Yeezy One collection. That was in 2021, 1.8 million dollars. And waffles? Well, that's also related to Nike because Nike co-founder Bill Bowerman created the Waffle Soul in 1971, adding better traction to our favorite sneakers. But you know what? You don't need $1.8 million to shop with Harem. Trust me. Although if you want to come in, we're good with that. But sneakers, we love them and we have a lot of them. And you know what? We all need more of them. Let's start with some of the best ones we have in the store right now. Starting with the P448s that I have on. These are so fun and they have a recycled rubber sole. How cool is that? I love all of the glitter on them. They're just cool looking, really fun, and they pair perfectly with my joggers, but they're also great with skirts, dresses, shorts, t-shirts, you name it. You can also get that in a high top version. Really cute. Love the silver for the season. Or if you can't pick a metal that you like, well, hey, just go for all of them in the multicolor. Now, 4th of July is coming up, so we're kind of thinking America, right? Obviously. Gotta love the blue. This is also Royals blue or Cubs, but oops, I shouldn't say that because we're in Cardinal country. Perfect for the summer. And then if you want something a little different, I love this Vanelli. Check this out. And yes, this is a sneaker. Slip on, chic, really pretty. Lots of neutrals to choose from as well, from Dolce Vita, Van Ellie, and Steve Madden. And these pair really well with all of our summer brights and whites and all those colors. It's Olympic season, so we're going for the gold in the new Steve Madden gold sneaker that's in here. Okay, so stop into Harem. You don't need waffles and you don't need $1.8 million, but you do need to come in and find your favorite sneaker.